Actually, I'm in the neighborhood here called Niyali. It's a, it's a, a suburb neighborhood where most of tourists stay. You know, all the resorts and malls and uh, hotels, they are, most of them are located here. I think it's a middle upper class neighborhood here in Mombasa. It is about eight and a half kilometers uh, from downtown area. I think mostly Matatu, they stop right here somewhere or over there, back, back there. So I'm gonna go over there in Garo Matatu. They said it's a 30 shilling. I already know the price. Before somebody jacked the price on me, it's always, <laughs> it's always like that. People always jack the price on you. Honestly, you have to know you have to know your price in hand before you get you go on a motorbike or matatu or a boda boda or a matatu or motorbike so yeah you gotta know your price otherwise you're gonna be charged that's for sure as a black muzungu as they say it here or a foreigner so right now i'm, I'm gonna get a, a a a matatu and go to downtown and from there i'm gonna go to for jesus so this is the neighborhood i'm at you know right here this all yeah it goes i think that's where i'm gonna be heading to you know and they have a, they have a rickshaw too you know uh, it's called tuk tuk in india rickshaw those are the one passing right here as you see you see that i don't know how much they cost i'm gonna get on that those one while i'm in downtown but right now i think the distance is a little bit farther down so yeah those are the rickshaws so see the distance is a little bit farther down i don't want to be I do not want to be extra charged, so that's why I'm gonna get on uh, my taxi. Here we go. Uh, actually, I'm inside Matatu right now, heading to downtown neighborhood. And Matatu is a kind of transportation people get on and get off at any stops they want so if you want to stop you just that's why the and the, the the bus will stop and then you know, this demand here is, you know drive you know is the money charge so getting the money and all that stuff so it's gonna take us almost about 25 is it even about eight to ten kilometers away from here you know so and since there's no traffic it's gonna take us about half an hour to get to downtown here we go all right Welcome to Mombasa. downtown right now <laughs> but this is really a fascinating city honestly all right Mombasa so yeah and it it is it is really really hot right here very very busy neighborhood very hot too so this is the uh, downtown Mombasa actually the neighborhood I live at it's called Liari is very quiet down there very dead all right let's see those are the tuk tuk. All right, right now, as you can see behind me, I'm in in front of the most famous spot in Mombasa. Okay, as, as it goes, right behind me, that is the old town, which is go way down there, and the new town is right over there, where I'm facing. Those are the new town. But mostly, since I'm um, actually, I'm gonna go around in the old town, a new town a bit, then <laughs> turn around to go to the old town. You see, that this is the most famous entrance to Mombasa. It's a lot of a uh, 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 tuk tuk here.
it's a huge boulevard here but uh, I, I'm going to the old town that's the one I'm looking for right now they told me it should be right here on my left hand side over there Okay guys, today I, I, am, uh, I am doing uh, the old city tour with my guide, her name is Amina, but she, she's real, she doesn't want to be on the camera, that's understandable too, but anytime you see, you will see her from far distance, where her face is not exposed. She's going to take me through uh, the old city, I think we are at the entrance of old city from my right hand side, so I'm just going to follow her wherever she goes, I'm going to just follow her. And also, by the way, it's very, very, very hot in Mombasa. Woo, boy, really hot. Okay, tuk 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 tuk. They're going crazy everywhere. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> All right. So we are. I'm gonna. You're gonna see her voice at the, at the background, and I'm just gonna follow her wherever she goes. This is some old building here. Very old. Mombasa is one of the oldest cities in sub-Saharan Africa. Its precise date of founding remains unknown. The old town area covers around half mile and is inhabited by a mix of Swahili, Portuguese, British, Arabs, Asians, mainly Indian and Baluchis. Which one? Pandya Hospital. No. Pandya. Pandya. Pre colonial Mombasa was a prosperous city in East Africa, known as the Swahili coast, which also includes other city states such as. Kilwa, Kisiwani, nice, nice, and Zanzibar, nice. which I will visit later on in this trip. Like, uh, the first embassy when they came from America, they made this house like they are meeting on their house. Oh, okay. Embassy this is the embassy house. Oh, okay. The first White House. Yeah. The first American embassy in Kenya was hosted in this place. Actually, this is the first American embassy in Mombasa. It's Sunday today, they told me it's, it's always quiet on Sunday. But this is a very Muslim area, but Sunday somehow Sunday is, is quiet. Which is good for me because sometimes videoing in the bustling city is, is, it is a problem, honestly. Mombasa and Zanzibar became the main center for trading between Africa and the Arab world, with trade routes even going as far as India and China. At different points in history, Mombasa would be ruled by the Portuguese, Arabs, and British, and city's culture today still exhibit that of its past, like the historical ruins of Fort Jesus, which I will be visiting shortly. Oh. I love those oceans. Okay. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Wow, check this water here. 
Whoa, really, really, really beautiful here. Yeah. Even wow. I, when I was a kid, I used to come to this. Oh, place. really? Yeah. You know how to swim then? No, I don't know. Ah. I'm just having to play with water. Yeah, same me here. I don't know how to swim, you know. So you can see these are the coral rocks. Okay. The port also was built or was carved among these coral rocks. Yeah. That's where they built the port from. But it's funny, you are you grew up in a in a city surrounded by water and you don't know how to swim. Yeah, it's ah. funny. I don't How are you? Don't be scared, eh? <laughs> Did I jump you up? <laughs> huh? Oh, the photo over there, yeah? Yeah. Beautiful. Alright. Okay. This is a local church. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, we are going on side street now. We are arriving now at the Baluchi squad. The Baluchis migrated here 300 years ago as soldiers of fortune to build an empire for the Sultan of Oman who had conquered their homeland on the south coastal fringes of the Persian Empire and to whom they now owed allegiance. Certainly those mercenaries deployed in the Sultan Oman's army were initially to fight and evict the Portuguese from their stronghold in East Africa and later to consolidate the Sultan's control of the region. Since the loyal Baluchi soldiers were not posing any threat to the rule of the Sultan, earned them lasting trust with the Sultan, who then deployed them to guard his palaces and his interests in the region, the interests that included massive land grab and the inhuman slave trade. Oh, okay. All right, we are in the Baluchi neighborhood right now. The, the, she's telling me the sign is when you see all this red flag hanging out. So that means it is the Baluchi house from Baluchistan. Okay, so the Brits used to put the metal foundation to hold the, the, the building. That's, that's you know, what it is here. And here we go. Wow. They have to go to reach the Mombasa old port, but they are not allowing filming or uh, taking pictures. Over there? The old port of Mombasa, yeah. Old port, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, when we get there? They wanted to, they built this port because it was near the old port. They wanted to use the Indian Ocean trade using the import and export of the port. So okay. this is the Mombasa old port. Okay, so, so right after here, I'm going to turn the yeah. camera off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're coming to a spot now. We're not allowed to film. I'm gonna turn my camera off right now. Oh, okay. So they stay in on their own side, yeah? yeah. Okay. So we're about to go to the fish market. Okay, oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So this is a Shia Baluchi neighborhood. Is that right? Yeah. Is that cool? Baluchi, yeah. Baluchi neighborhood. Okay, uh, I am. Okay, I am still uh, in the old neighborhood. Actually, we walked from the beginning. We went through a Baluchi neighborhood into the old port, which is right behind me. Then the camera was not allowed there, so I didn't film the old port. But right now, we are going inside the fish market. Literally, a Mombasa fish market. Hopefully, they're gonna allow me to film, but I'm gonna follow her anyway. See what's going on. And here is where we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Here we go. Nice. When we got in, there were no much thing to see there. 
So I headed straight to the window. Assalamu alaikum. From Somalia, okay, Kismai. Okay, but can they export human beings? Like a transportation, only goods. Oh, okay, okay. The attraction of the old town here display the history in Mombasa. In 1997, the old town became a UNESCO's World Heritage Site. This is the community where many of its residents can proudly refer their ancestry to Arabs, Baluches, Indians, rather to the Bantu native indigenous. That is not specifically to Mombasa, but also to all Swahili coastal towns, from Lamu all the way to Kilwa, south of Zanzibar in today's Tanzania. Oh, the Mandri Mosque. Yeah, that's right. That's... All right, this is Swahili Mosque actually. The first mosque was built by Swahili. Okay. Is that big here? Yeah. The Maulid is very big here? Or? Yeah, Mombasa is very big. Okay. Because I heard Lamu is much bigger too. Yeah, Lamu is much bigger. Much more than okay. Okay, first Africa hotel in Mombasa. Okay. Oh, actually in Kenya. Oh dear. Yeah. First Africa hotel. All right. Yes, my friend. Come on, let's go. Come on, Christian. Come on. Allah ya it's a video, I'm doing a video. TikTok, YouTube. Yeah, TikTok and YouTube. You wanna say salamu alaikum? Shukran, thank you very much. <laughs> Hi. Salamu alaikum. Salamu alaikum, how are you? Fine. 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 The name? Yeah, name. Uh, this one, four, eight, one. Where from? Cote d'Ivoire. Four. Yes. Cote d'Ivoire. Four. You know Cote d'Ivoire, you know? No. Sahel Age, Ivory Coast. No. Are you Spanish? No. I'm from Cote d'Ivoire. Like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe because many more videos on the way. Thank you.